Spencer Lewis for FastEddyRaceWear.com. We're post-race at the Court of the Speedway Mini Stock Nationals with the inaugural winner, $500 in his pocket, a sweet trip to the pay window for the instant classic Andy Camrath. Huge performance here tonight, 30 lap beach. I don't know, you, you led probably over 25 of those laps. Monstrous performance for the 35 team. You didn't know if you were going to have enough car to come out the court to compete with these guys. I'd say we probably put that issue to rest here this afternoon. Yeah, I, I've never taken this thing to a big track, only ran sunset with it. So uh, they got a lot of dual overhead cam motors down here. I was a little worried about being underpowered. Um, I think on the restarts they maybe had us, but once we got the uh, the old girl wound up, she was pretty good. Now, it, it seemed as though everything that you were lacking on the dyno, you were making up for on the racetrack. I mean, you, nobody was, was getting as much out of their car as you were this afternoon. There were moments where you, you had this car pinned right sideways in the middle of the corner and still made it work and we're still picking up positions. Uh, tell me about the strategy coming into this afternoon. Um, we brought our exact sunset set up. Um, the, I had to take some right rear spring out of it for here. It's what I thought I was going to have to do. Um, sure enough, it's, a lot of people think it's motor, motor, motor. Oh, I'm probably going to be so many rumors. He's cheating this, he's cheating that. Well, I'll get the car to go through the ends and uh, we'll talk. Now, a, a huge field. This, this is the best quality field you've raced against yet. You, you had, you know, former Autumn Colors Classic champions. You had uh, Peterborough champion, the Barry champion, uh, the Varney champion. Uh, I could go down the list and, and talk about the level of competition you face today. Uh, I keep asking you if the mini stock division surprises you again today when you were up against the best of the best. Did it sort of blow you away as to how good these guys are? Oh, it, it's like anything. You spend enough time with it, you're going to get better. Um, the Farm Bros, they're, they're pretty awesome over at Peterborough. Um, big motors and those things. I know they run dual motors, but that's what they do over here. they got a good, pretty good program going. Um, Warren's got an awesome program going. We both do. Um, so uh, it, it's, it's a lot of different cars. It's a lot of how you set the thing up. And um, there's so many different suspension systems out there. It's all how you attack it. Now, you mentioned that you were here, like, what, a million years ago in a junior late model. How many years ago was that? Twelve. When you're nine years old, oh, yeah, like nine or ten or you old like boot. I know. Uh, did, were you able to implement any of that strategy? If that's what you're going off of, were you able to implement any of that strategy here tonight to to, to wheel in this mini sock around? Uh, getting the car sideways in the corner, no. Um, <laughs> taking the car pretty wide, absolutely. Um, I made the car very, very wide. Made the corner as big as I possibly could. I set the car up. I think a lot, probably one of the loosest cars here. Um, but that's what I got. How I got it to turn. Um, set it up that way. Use the throttle to steer it. I I came from late model race and you ran 400 plus horsepower and you're always loose so it's a lot easier to correct it in one of these now obviously this is the first round of the mini stock national second round stated slated for july 13th any possible chance that the 35 is going to miss the july 13th show here i don't think so <laughs> I, th I think we'll bring her back uh there's some changes i still want to make to make the car better um but uh it was good to take our sunset set up change it bring it back here for uh for kawartha and uh, it's it's good to get a run in, and we can always improve. There's always room to improve. Now you've mentioned when you when you came to the mini stock division, you kind of had a, a bucket list of sorts of races that you wanted to win in this division. Mini stock nationals is one of them. It's out of the way now. Give me two more events that you're really looking to knock down here in, uh, in 2014. This number 35 Honda Civic. Autumn colors. Gosh, I'd love to put that one to bed. I've tried doing it a million times in the late model, and always get it stolen away from me. Um, I'd, I'd like to go back to Sobel and win one over at Sobel, and then. Uh, I wouldn't even mind going over to the Reynolds and see what we can do over there. I know it's not possible. A lot of support. Thank the folks that got you to the racetrack here this afternoon. Um, actually, um, the factions there, Ken, Warren, Lynn, Leslie, they put up with everything too. Um, they helped out with the tranny. I know pretty much nothing about these. If it's in a Ford or a Chev, I didn't know much about them, so they helped out a lot. The sponsors, Jason Woody at Remax. I mean, it's a house. Go through Jason Witte, uh, and Traps Jet CA, the car's looking pretty awesome. Uh, AM Roofing, they helped me out, JF Kitchen and Sun, and Fast Eight Raceway, they're doing a lot for the mini stock division, and uh, it should they should be happy with the win. <laughs> well, how can we follow you on Twitter this weekend? I know you're gonna be talking a whole lot about the mini stock nationals and what went down here tonight. Uh, Andy Camrath 35 is Twitter. I got Camrath Motorsports on Facebook. I'm not really into the whole Instagram thing, but uh, maybe one day. It confuses me too. Don't feel bad about it. I get confused easily. There you go, folks. Driving number 35 car out of Innisfil, Ontario, by way of Holland Landing, by way of Owen Sound. It is the instant classic Andy Camrath, your mini stock nationals inaugural champion. Have a good night, my friend.